I didn't do any sport really until I was 50 when I started running, so I can say very clearly it's never too late to start. Uh, about 18 months ago, I was travelling home from work and I felt quite unwell. Uh, this would be on the Thursday evening, on the Saturday morning I was in the hospital paralysed. When I was laying in the hospital bed I thought there was no, no future, no hope. Physios suggested that if, when I come out I get to a, I go to a gym. And if, you, if you can get to the gym, there's a start. You get up to the equipment, there's, an, there's another little step along the way. Get onto the equipment, do the bare, bare minimum you can do. And then gradually, gradually build it up and it will, uh, it will get you here. Your arms and your legs, they can build up as much as possible. And it's got to be in here. You get other people in there, they will encourage you. I suffer with rheumatoid arthritis. Without table tennis, I would definitely be seized up, maybe even in a wheelchair. But it must keep moving all the time. And that's what table tennis is all about. The reason why I'm playing today is because I've we found it so hard to find other women badminton players and um, I would encourage uh, women, you know, I'm 55 and, you know, other women to come and play and just get up, have fun and it's a social event each week and you're doing exercise in badminton, your whole body's exercise. You don't have to be desperately good at things, you just have to want to try and exercise and with a smile and lots of fun. get the chance to meet lots of people, do different games, even if you've never done things before, um, you get a chance to have a go. And we just want to be united, all of us alike. I think it's vital for our ageing population that we do age more healthily. So I think we do have to encourage everybody, however inactive or isolated they may be feeling at the time, to actually come out, join us and have fun above all things.